In this video, we're going to be looking at uh, what we call the Miniman model. And you can see here's his, his head and here are his feet. We're looking at an anterior view. We looked at on the head model the sternocleidomastoid muscle, which you can see here going from the mastoid process here and clearly attaching to the clavicle and the sternum. So the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Going at the large muscle of the chest is called the pectoralis major muscle. So here we have our pectoralis major muscle. Deep to that would be a pectoralis minor muscle. We're working our way over to the lateral. We can see the deltoid muscle, the shoulder muscle that forms a cap of the shoulder. Here you can see the deltoid. And then working our way inferiorly, we can see the, the muscles of the belly, of the abdomen. These muscles here are called the rectus abdominis muscles, and you can see that they're divided by these uh, little tendons. So our rectus abdominis, rectus again means straight up and down, so that tells you something about their orientation. On the other side of the, of the abdomen, here's his umbilicus, his belly button. On the other side of the linea alba, which is this connective tissue that runs right down the midline from the xiphoid process of the sternum, down through the belly button, through the umbilicus, all the way down to the pubic symphysis, and serves as an anchor point for these muscles. On the other side of this, on this model, you can see that the rectus abdominis muscles are still covered in a connective tissue called the rectus sheath. And a sheath is a structure that surrounds something. So the rectus sheath that on this side you can see are still covering the rectus abdominis muscles. Over here you can see as we move our way laterally, you can see what are known as the external abdominal oblique muscles, the external abdominal oblique muscles, and you can see that the orientation of the fibers is on an angle, hence the term oblique. Underneath that we would see internal abdominal obliques going in a slightly different orientation. Also up here, forming sort of the side of the, of the body and forming this uh, jagged edge with the external abdominal oblique are muscles called the serratus anterior muscles, the serratus anterior muscles. And these are muscles that actually help move the scapula, the shoulder blade. So now we're going to go ahead and flip him over so we can look at the muscles of the trunk from the back, from the posterior view. So again, here you can see his head and his feet are down here. We can see muscles here, we can see this major muscle called the trapezius muscle of the back, the trapezius muscle. And here you can actually see some of the, what's represented as the spinous processes of the vertebrae running right down the midline of the back. So again, the trapezius muscles here. Here you can see the deltoid muscle of the shoulder, the deltoid muscle. And then the, on both sides, well, we're going to look at both sides here. You can actually see also muscles, sometimes uh, muscles of the shoulder of the, in the back. And here we have our infraspinatus that sits in the infraspinous fossa of the scapula. And then here you have the teres minor and then the teres major. So here's our infraspinatus muscle, our teres minor, and our teres major. And then the muscle that forms the back and the sides of the body is called the latissimus dorsi, the latissimus dorsi. And then just for completeness sake on this side, and then we'll look at the other side, here you have the iliac crest. And you can see that the latissimus dorsi attaches to the iliac crest. And also you can see the gluteus maximus muscles, the buttocks muscles here. Looking at the other side, again, you can see the same muscles but because his arm is raised, they have a slightly different, uh, different orientation. Here's the trapezius muscle and the deltoid muscle, the infraspinatus, and then the teres minor, and then the teres major. And you can see that the teres major actually uh, inserts on the underside of the arm. So here's that teres major, and then the latissimus dorsi, and again, the gluteus maximus muscle.